Motor Week is made possible by Cars.com, Valvoline, and Dunlop Tires. <laughs> Subaru WRX STI delivers hot import stimuli with a real world price tag. When we first tested the STI a few years ago, we were knocked out by its over the top styling, tough guy character, and road rally performance. Technical difficulties are preventing the continuation of tonight's Fox Hall feature High School Madness. We are working on the problem. This is the sort of hazard that any four-wheel drive exponent can expect to face many times. In fact, they even look forward to it with anticipation. After all, this is why you've got a four-wheel drive. This is what it's all about. But there are things to be wary of. Where water is ruffled and you can see stones, you can be reasonably sure that it's shallow, so there should be no problem here. But where water is fairly placid, as on the far side of the creek, it means it's deep. And that's where I may have problems. I'll come into the angle in this way and then curve around, picking up the rock and dipping my left wheel where it looks a bit deep. There's no choice. I'll be in four-wheel drive, of course. There's a technique to driving through water. <clears throat> this creek is hard because we'll be against the current, which makes it harder than normal. You go slowly. You've got to get over rocks. You don't want water coming up, drowning the electrics. Things are very well placed here. The spark plugs up high. The car's still running. I've got a bit of wheel spin. I'll just get reverse. See how deep we are. Still engines running. The spark plugs are clear. The air filter's clear. The thing that's most likely to happen is I'm going to drown. Let me just... Now, I've got a bit of wheel spin. The engine, though, remarkably, is still running. I'll need some help. Now, I'm stuck, as you can see. I mean, that's a mild word for being half drowned. But a couple of things are important. One is, it's here because it slipped off a rock. Nothing wrong with the vehicle. It's just very slippery. I couldn't see it, and it went to the side when I was trying to turn left. Couldn't do it. The engine is still running, and other things are still working. Now, the water here is above my waist. It's up to the switch that controls the electric windows, but look, they're still operating as well. <laughs> Everything still works. I'm amazed the motor is running. But we've had to bring the Brumby in to try and pull us out because this is, I think, a graphic illustration of when you go exploring or into difficult country with four-wheel drives, it does pay to have two because no matter how good the vehicle, if you're probing into the unknown like a deep creek to try and show you how well the engine will keep running, it's nice to have someone around to pull you out. You ready, fellas? And so the camera crew dropped their gear in more ways than one and gave the Brumby a bit of a hand over the slippery rocks. Right, well, let's just run through what happened. I went here into the deep water. There was no problem with it running in the water itself. It was, as you can see, it'll run in amazingly deep water. But here, out of sight, as far as I was concerned, were a couple of big rocks. There's one here particularly that's angled. I don't know whether I can lift it. But it's resting on another one, and it was at an angle like that. And that just turned the wheel and the nose deep down into the, into the creek. Get out of the way in case you want to try it sometime. Then I had a thought. The engine was behaving as though it was out of petrol. I added some and then tried again. Rethinking the STI is also reflected in its cabin. Larger and with much improved fit and finish, the interior is also extremely well equipped. The deep sports seats are wrapped in graphite grey with black leather bolsters. Electro-luminescent gauges top a racy dash. Standard goodies include a 10-speaker audio system with a CD changer and an auxiliary jack for MP3 players. The longer wheelbase results in improved rear legroom, and the standard split-folding seatbacks maximize the space available in the new five-door body style. Total cargo volume is a crossover like 44.4 cubic feet. Still, this is a high-performance machine, so government fuel economy ratings are a fairly low. Let's get behind the wheel and find out if the STI is still a blowout. New performance cars have established...
19.1 seconds and 100 miles per hour. Both results slow. Average to short 122 feet with strong vibrations through the pedal. 